up guys, have a, oh god, let's start that again. What's up guys, how's everybody doing and welcome back to the Chad Molina Fitness YouTube channel. I'm not even gonna cut that out because I try to keep these clips as raw as possible. Uh, I wanna keep it real with you guys and I don't wanna have to cut things out and make things look fake. So the topic of today's video is gonna be how to get stronger while also um, attacking hypertrophy and building muscle. So let's talk about two different type of people. Okay, so you have people that are, are strong, right? They train uh, lower rep schemes, higher rest intervals, and they're strong people, but they might, they might not necessarily be large and big, right? And then you may have the other people that are bodybuilders that are working with hypertrophy reps, three to five sets, eight to 12 repetitions. You guys already know. And uh, they're not necessarily the strongest people in the world, but they are bigger. So I'm trying to talk to, in this video, what I'm trying to get across is how to mesh the two together so that you could be as strong as a, a power lifter, but still look like a bodybuilder and mesh the two. Because I think ideally you want to be strong and look good as well. So there's three, uh, in my opinion, there's three uh, things that you need to manipulate with your training in order to reach this maximized, uh, this blend of the two athletes. So the three things I have them written down here, number one is volume. So what we're going to talk about with volume is sets and reps. So how many sets, how many reps? Two is load. So load, how heavy, uh, percentage of your one rep max, stuff like that. Uh, the third thing we have written down here is rest intervals. How long should you rest in between each set? Okay, so let's talk about what we should be doing if we're trying to mesh the two. First off, we should always start with the strength component. Now, what is this gonna look like? It's gonna look like, uh, so now we need to talk about the volume. So we're trying, we're doing strength component Thing. So we're doing compound lifts, we're doing bench presses, we're doing overhead presses, we're doing deadlifts, we're doing back squats, we're doing front squats, we're doing compound movements, okay? So now we need to talk about how many sets, how many reps are ideal for getting stronger and also having enough volume to promote hypertrophy. Hypertrophy meaning muscle building. So. What I've come up with and what I've developed is that in order to be hypertrophy, I still think that you need to be over that 25 rep mark. So if you total up the amount of sets and reps that you do, and if the total repetitions isn't over 25, I wouldn't classify that as hypertrophy. So five sets of three, that totals out to 15 reps, I wouldn't classify that as hypertrophy. Will that get you stronger? Yes, but will it make you look like a bodybuilder? No. So I always think that five sets of five should be kind of like a minimum for uh, people that are trying to, yes, get stronger and also uh, look like a bodybuilder. So five sets of five should always be a minimum. You should play with five sets of five, five sets of seven, eight sets of eight, Thing, things like this. But we also have to go into load. So, well first before we get into load, actually I wanna talk about rest intervals because these two kind of intertwine. So a lot of bodybuilders are resting 30 to 60 seconds in between sets because you wanna, you wanna shorten up the rest times to increase muscle damage, to increase the pump, to increase the amount of blood that we're rushing into the muscle. So, uh, ideally for someone that's trying to get stronger, you're trying to rest three to five minutes in between each set. So what I've come up with to blend the two together is rest the three to five minutes, have the strongman approach for the rest, but have the loading uh, of kind of like a bodybuilder mindset, that 80% range, 80 to 85% of your one rep max range. So what will the rest intervals do for us? The rest intervals will make sure that we are uh, well rested enough so that we can, with proper form, attack each high volume set. So you're getting the high volume, you're promoting hypertrophy, but you're resting enough so that that set is done with proper form and you're resting enough so you're well recovered, your body is restored with creatine and all this stuff and uh, 
you have like more of a strong man kind of mindset with the rest intervals. So rest three to five minutes in between each set for the compound movements. And then you want to keep, like I said, five by five should be a minimum. Uh, and then the rest intervals, like I said, three to five minutes and the loading should be about 80 to 85%. So another thing that the rest intervals allow us to do is it allows us to keep that 80 to 85% on the bar. How I'm sure you guys have done this before, but let's say you were trying to do like a burnout set of back squats and you were just going and going and going, right? And then you rest 30 seconds and you go, go, go again. You would always probably have to strip the bar because you were so tired because you couldn't maintain doing that load. So that's what that three to five minute uh, rest in between each set will allow you to do. It will allow you to stick with that 80 to 85% uh, of your one rep max on the bar so that we could work heavier loads, hence getting stronger. Okay, damn, I feel like I covered a lot. Okay, so that's with compound movements. Compound movements, you wanna still keep the volume high but the reps low. So a lot of sets with low reps, uh, should look like around 25 total reps once you're done with once you're done with everything, right? The load, 80 to 85 percent. You want to have heavier loads to promote that strength response. Uh, rest intervals, at least three minutes, uh, maybe five minutes in between each set, so that one we could attack each uh, set with proper form, and two we could maintain the load on the bar. Okay, so once we're done with our compound movements, so once Let's say you're doing a back day, you started with deadlifts. Let's say you had a leg day, you started with squats, right? Let's say you had a chest day, you started with bench press. Once we're done with those compound movements, now we will move more into our hypertrophy, uh, classic hypertrophy stuff. So now you'll, you'll work your five sets of eight of lunges. Now you'll work your five sets of 10 of floor press. Now you'll work your five sets of 12 of uh, pull-ups and stuff like that with the shorter rest range with uh, the lighter weights like 60 to 70 percent of your one rep max range so to blend strength and to blend bodybuilding always start with the compound movements keep the volume high keep the rest intervals high keep the loading high and then once you're finished with your compound movements then you can get into your classic bodybuilding movements if you guys have ever watched a power builder, uh, somebody that comes off the tongue for me is Russell Orhe. He follows this kind of style of training. He will always start his training with his power lifting, so his deadlift, his bench, his squat, whatever, and he'll follow that these principles. And then once he is done with that principle, he will then move on to his classic uh, hypertrophy and muscle building exercises. And if you've ever seen the guy, he's fucking strong as shit. He's squatting 600 pounds and he is huge. Um, so this is just kind of, I've watched a couple of videos about this concept and I've seen other people that follow this concept and I just wanted to bring everything together, put my kind of spin on it and put it in a video so that you guys can kind of like, you know, just chew on it, add it into your training and see the benefits of it. So that's going to bring me to the end of this video, guys. Hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment. And if you guys want to join the Team CMF online training clients, I have four, six, eight, 12, and 16 week packages. Uh, the link to my website to see those packages is below. Also, a new thing that all team members have access to now is the Team CMF private Facebook group where I just add motivation. I give out more free content on there. So just to make people better. So thank you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.